Good evening. This time we have a look at the beautiful study by Gleb Sarkodjakin, which won first prize in Tidskrift für Schach 1930. Why is to move and draw? But, uh, well, how to stop the black F pawn? It wants to promote in the next move. It's impossible. But, it is not impossible to draw. The beautiful solution runs g7 check. Now if black plays king g8, after knight g4 the threat knight f6 is strong. So black has nothing better than knight takes g7, knight takes f2, king takes f8 with an equal endgame. So black should play knight takes g7, after which white has a beautiful maneuver which you may find if you pause the video now and return if you want to see the solution. Okay, the solution goes knight f7 check, king d8, bishop c5, f1 queen. For practical reasons the best variation may be king takes f7, Bishop takes f2, king g6, when black wins the pawn on g5, but it is still a draw. However, in a practical game, black could win this, if white defends badly. Well, let's return to the position after bishop c5. Black has nothing better than f1 queen, when white continues to build a fortress with knight h6 check, king h8, bishop d6. Now you may think, are you going nuts? That's never a fortress. What are you talking about? Well, let's see. If black moves the knight on g7, white plays bishop e5 check, and the knight has to return. So black could try to win the pawn on g5 or the bishop on d6. But after queen a6 check, for example king b2, queen takes d6, knight f7 check, the black queen is caught. The same after queen g2 check, king b3, queen takes g5, knight f7 check. So black has nothing better than queen e1, when almost everything draws, for example bishop e5. And again black cannot win the bishop because of knight f7 check. White also could stay on d6 with his bishop and it would still be a draw.